Hello, this is David from the Bookman in Orange, California, uh, welcoming you to another segment of Things Found in Old Books. And uh, we've got some stuff found I'm going to share with you today, and thank you for joining. Uh, we'll start off with a, a cookbook. Now, I find uh, cookbooks a lot, and a lot of a lot of times there are a lot of recipes cut up uh, from other sources, newspapers, magazines, and put in the cookbook. And uh, this is no different. Uh, it's the, probably the only difference is, is, is the age. Um, this is called Fashions in Beverly Hills. Fashions in Foods in Beverly Hills. So this is a Beverly Hills cookbook, and it's got a lot of, of movie star recipes, some of the old-timey movie stars, Hal Roach, uh, uh, oh, there's a number of them here. Um, and anyway, so what they did was have this Beverly Hills cookbook with a lot of interesting illustrations uh, throughout. Um, but there was a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, recipes uh, laid into the book that I thought were interesting because, again, because of the age. We found, I found one here. Uh, it says, be famous for your baking. And it's uh, from Calumet, Calumet Baking Powder. And they, they teach you all kinds of, of things to do with Calumet Baking Powder. Now, there's no date on this, but looking at it, I would say, uh, you know, 1940s. The book itself is from 1929. I did forget to mention that. But it's from 1929, the book. And so there's there's that. And in here they teach you how to uh, make yukoi, U-K-O-Y, which is something I've never heard of. I'm sure I'm uh, a baking ignoramus, but I've never heard of yukoi or bimbingika. <laughs> anyway, and griddle cakes. So I know griddle cakes. So there's that. There's Anne Campbell's favorite recipes. And there's, again, there's a little booklet uh, from Ann Campbell's recipes. And it was a little poem about being a, a good cook. And inside, a little further down into our book, I have magazine articles or newspaper articles uh, with, with uh, a, a li little loving care is all your face requires. But on this side here is the recipes from Martha Grayson. Uh, maybe she was a famous cook. I don't know. Anyway, so again, all kinds of, of, of little clippings from the from the from the old days, cut right out of the newspaper. Uh, just to show you that they've been in the book for a long time. You can see where the the newspaper acid is bleeded right onto the page. I thought this one little recipe was 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 interesting not for the recipe itself which is which is that uh for baked round steak and apple tapioca but on the back it says uh, there's a little article about jackson graves banker injured jackson a graves head of the farmers and merchants national bank suffered a broken rib yesterday when he fell for reaching for a book at his home in alhambra the pioneer banker will be confined to his bed for several days, it was stated at his home. So the, the fact that he, two things I'm taking from this, the fact that, that they felt it was newsworthy that this banker broke his rib and had to stay at home uh, made the newspaper, which I found kind of interesting. And the second, collecting books and having books, it could be a dangerous thing. So. You, People, uh, all your book collectors, be careful because I don't want you to break a rib. Reaching for your books it might happen. And again, we have more. This is Watkins Coca. Again, you can tell from the back that it's probably from the 20s or 30s, this little. This little advertising here for the Watson Coca. And uh, I, you know, I just find this stuff just quite fascinating. There's more too. I, I won't sh share everything here, but uh, 
it, the book is just full of, of uh, things like that and handwritten recipe. I have no idea how old it is, but you tell by the handwriting that it's probably from the same vintage as all this other stuff. Some of the stuff is from the 50s and some of the stuff from the 30s and 20s. And, uh, and well, that's the first thing. I did find that. Again, like I said, I find a lot of cookbooks with stuff all through it. But uh, this was especially interesting to me. And uh, I have this John O'Hara book. John O'Hara. Uh, there's really no date. It's a book club edition. So I don't know how old the book is. It's from the 60s, uh, 50s maybe. And uh, But inside, folded up, I did find this thing here. I'll unfold that. Footprints. Register your identity, it says here. And then has a little footprints. Gloria Jean Toft from it was uh, Hollywood Hospital, Los Angeles, California, in November 1940. Now it's right there. It's it, but it's not signed by the doctor, but the father the father signed it at the bottom. A little footprints, and on the back. Uh, it has a little bit about uh, first smile is six weeks old, on December 10th, the first registered smile of, of, little, of little Gloria. And uh, the first laugh was just a week later, after she smiled, she had a laugh. And uh, first auto ride was 10 days old. So I wonder how they got her home from the hospital. Anyway, uh, she walked at uh, one year and 10 days. My guess is she might be still with us today. Uh, so Gloria, if you're out there somewhere and you're watching this, I'll hold it for you. It's yours. Uh, you, you can have it. And finally, I have this thing I found in a book. I, sorry, I don't have the book with me today. It's called Holiday on Ice. Now that's a holiday on ice. It's inside you get a little bit of, of, of what's going to happen because what this is is a holiday on ice uh, order form. You order your tickets here. It's from 1947. It's a 1947 show in the uh, Norfolk, uh, Norfolk Auditorium. That's in Virginia. So I did a little research on the auditorium. I believe it's still there and it's had a lot of great events there. Uh, it's quite a uh, a small, unassuming auditorium has had a lot of great events at the auditorium. And one of the events in 1947 was the Holiday on Ice, uh, with a with a uh, it has a has its own ice floor that they the first big time ice show, the world's largest portable ice rink, and uh, they got some stars of the day going to be doing the acts, including a skating horse. Uh, so that's coming October 4th through October 10th. Don't miss it. You got time to send in your orders now. And that's all I have for today. And if you have anything that you would like to share, uh, please don't hesitate to send me a photo or and a little description of the of what you found. And uh, it would be my pleasure to share it here on this uh, little broadcast. Uh, send it to oldbook at ebookman.com. That's old book at ebookman.com. And uh, a photo and a description, and, and we'll share it here. It'd be, uh, it'd be my pleasure. Thank you for stopping by, and it's been uh, fun doing this with you today and, and, and all days. I'm really enjoying this. Thank you. My name is David from the Bookman in Orange. Bye bye.